Introduction to Speaking Skills Speaking Series Topics covered Introduction to Speaking Skills Speech as Interaction Speech as Transaction Speech as Performance and Secrets to Speaking learning outcomes by the end of this module the learner will be able to recognize the subtle differences in the three types of speech functions use the right approach and skills according to the speech function and speak effectively in different situations and settings with native and non-native speakers using appropriate speech forms. So let's begin the module with an understanding of what is articulation. Articulation is defined in the dictionary as the act or process of speaking. An articulate person is one whose speech is characterized by clear expressive language. He is able to express his thoughts clearly. According to the English Oxford Dictionary, articulation has two meanings, fluent and clear in speech, and to speak or express distinctly. So now let us look at the four commandments of articulation. The first one states that articulation is the capacity of thought and the capability of structure. This would mean we need to have clarity of thought and then the ability to structure those thoughts in a well sequenced manner. Articulation is not only quality of English, it is more to do with the speaker's desire to ensure that the complete message reaches the audience in the correct form and therefore working towards building complete comprehension. Articulation is not only verbal communication, it also involves body language such as gestures, facial expressions, body movements, etc. and tone like pitch, intonation, etc. These add more clarity to the message that is given out. Finally, articulation is good communication. To sum up, we can say Articulation is not only speaking eloquently but also making sure the message is understood clearly and therefore it is more about effective communication rather than oratory skills. Articulation skills. To define this further we can say that to articulate is to say or pronounce something in a manner that can be clearly understood when you are expressing an idea or thought. Speech, voice, pronunciation, expression form the components of effective articulation. Speech is the ability to construct and structure your message in a cohesive manner. Voice involves the tone, intonation, the pitch and other facets of vocal expression. Pronunciation is to do with the correct utterance of a word. And expression is the contextual elements such as your body language or tone which adds depth to the message. Speech Aristotle acknowledged five elements in his rhetoric in the 4th century BC. The speaker, the speech that is the message, the audience, the occasion and the effect. Thus Aristotle advised speakers to create speeches according to the audiences and for different occasions or different effects. Elements of speech Irrespective of the language used, speech has many complexities within it. 
your speech will contain many units of ideas planned or unplanned it employs phrases known and unknown words fillers both sound and word and also the right response speech is situation centric ranging from casual to formal to direct or indirect we can categorize speech based on the above aspects and different functions of speech such as speech as interaction speech as transaction and speech as performance speech as interaction here we look at everyday interactions conversations with clients colleagues which do not look at deeper objectives or outcomes simple interactions such as greeting each other small talk sharing basic information in a friendly and non threatening environment form a part of this let us look at some of the features involved in speech as interaction here the focus is on the speaker's identity and not really on the message message thus becomes secondary here it is more a social function rather than a formal one it can be in formal or called casual situations this also reflects the role relationships between the two speakers and finally it is a joint construction where both the parties contribute to the conversation speech as interaction we look at the skills involved here opener and closure using the right openers and closures in our conversation is important small talk the art of making small talk using the right choice of topics as your conversation opener such as weather sports food etc recounting experiences with clarity and specificity to build interest and connect taking turns to ensure there is a balance in the speaker conversation and the receiver's response so that both have a chance to share their thoughts interjecting at appropriate place and in an appropriate manner to enhance clarity and comprehension and giving suitable responses to carry the conversation forward here exchanging greetings small talk chit chat sharing some experiences form part of speech as interaction now let us look at speech as transaction here we refer to situations where we give a lot of importance to the message being given out in speech as transaction the speaker's intention is more on giving out the right information and ensuring the receiver has heard and understood the message correctly the features are the focus is on information message is the key the body of the message plays a significant role in ensuring that the information is given out correctly importance to making oneself understood accurately becomes paramount as the entire outcome is dependent on the understanding of the speaker and hence significance is given to giving and receiving information communication strategies such as negotiation digression etc are employed here now let us look at the skills involved in speech as transaction ability to describe or explain things in detail is required listening skills such as probing clarifying summarizing paraphrasing 
are very important. Agreeing and disagreeing, confirming in the right manner so as to not offend the listener. Giving suggestions to further the objectives of the transaction. Justifying one's point of view with data and explanations and making comparisons and evaluating the given information are some of the skills involved. Some of the examples of speech as transaction are team meetings, client calls, negotiations, decision making, etc. Now let us move on to speech as performance. As the name suggests, here speech as performance refers to information which is given out to the audience maybe in a larger group and maybe in a different environment. The speaker has to focus both on the message and the delivery to maintain credibility and impact. Some of the features involved here are focusing on the message and the audience, ensuring that the message is given out in a structured and an organized manner and therefore form and accuracy becomes very important. The importance is also on the language which will help the readers to be interested and understand clearly. Here it becomes more monologous than a dialogue. Some of the skills involved use of right format and right structure Sequencing and organizing the information in a cohesive manner. Audience orientation and managing the audience. Language skills and the flair and fluency exhibited by the speaker. And the overall impact right from the opening to the closure having the ability to keep the audience engrossed. Speech as a performance involves presentations, sharing information with the team, welcome speech, debate, etc. Now let us look at the secrets to speaking. What helps us to be effective speakers? The five P's that we need to keep in mind are Picture. Create a similar picture to the one you are thinking about for the listener to comprehend. As the adage goes, a picture is worth thousand words. Taste. Make sure the speed at which you speak is not too fast nor too slow. Power. Speak with energy. Emphasize on words and be loud and clear for people to hear you and understand you. Pitch. Make your voice sound interesting by bringing in inflections and changing the pitch to avoid monotonous voice. And finally, pause. Pause is a powerful mechanism to convey information and to keep your audience interested. A quick recap. There are three types of talking that we do in our daily communication. Speech as interaction, speech as transaction and speech as performance. It's extremely important to keep the following five elements in mind when speaking. They are the purpose, your audience, the information you need to give, the way you structure it and the milestones to be adhered to. The five P's of effective speaking. Picture. Pace, pitch, power and pause. With this, we come to a conclusion on the introductions to speaking skills.